God's been God a long time. But on the way to the top, God's rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. God's made many enemies, and somebody got pissed. Somebody's not happy. And now, what do you know? God is dead. I'm Larry Charles, and I want to know who killed God. Well, here we are, back at square one. Or have we just been circling? Are we on a path or a maze? A labyrinth or a tunnel? Are we climbing a mountain? Or have we fallen down a black hole, an abyss where no light or life can survive? Back at the beginning or nearing the end? Or is it time to acknowledge once and for all the beginning and end are the same? Once you're asking who is God, you're opening up a whole other set of questions. Which God? What God? When God? Maybe God was murdered thousands and thousands, if not millions of years ago. Maybe God was killed before time. Makes gathering forensic evidence tough. We may need a space telescope to find that kind of evidence. And even if we did, we'd have to then interpret it properly. And we'd have to all agree. That seems unlikely. So which God are we talking about? Yahweh? Jehovah? Tetragrammaton? That one always sounded like a Japanese monster to me. Buddha? Allah? Are we talking about the Old Testament God, the New Testament God? Are we talking about Brahma, Shiva, Vishnu? Which God are we talking about? Which God has been murdered? And is there any difference? Has one God been murdered who has been presenting himself to us as many gods? Is there one real God or is there no real God? Or is it like Spider-Man? The same part played by many different actors. The truth is we have no idea. We've never really known. There is no crime without a victim. There is no murder without a body, or so they keep trying to tell us. And finding God behind all the facades and layers and mysteries and fables and secrets would be a daunting task. People ask me, what do I believe? I started out wanting to be a rabbi. But my encounters and all my dialogues with the rabbis at the Hebrew school were always unsatisfying and frustrating. They were trapped in the dogma of the religion and were not open to metaphysical questions. I had to seek my answers elsewhere. Their God seemed far too limited. I would call myself an atheist, but I think that's too simplistic. Yes, I don't believe in the Judeo-Christian God or any other God. I don't believe in the antiquated concept of God, but I believe in the mystery. I believe in mystery. I believe there are so many things beyond our ability to understand or even imagine, things we haven't invented language for, that to be arrogant enough to think that we have it figured out is absurd. But I know it made me want to find the answers to these questions even though every answer opens a door to a new infinity of unanswered questions. But I know when I look at the world, I see pain and suffering and violence and death and inequity planetarily, universally, personally, and that made me want to solve this crime. How could I not? I'm willing to accept that everything I know is wrong, but if I'm wrong about God's existence, I'm sadly right about something much worse. God is dead. And it's no accident. When God dies, there are no natural causes. It's the kind of thing you devote your life's work to. And why wouldn't I? Do I need another TV show or movie? Do I need anything but the truth? And would the truth be enough? Or would there be revelations beyond the truth? Is there truth beyond truth? Let's ask ourselves some important questions. How can God be dead? God's not supposed to die. I mean, can God die of natural causes? Can God die of extremely old age? Did God slip in the shower? And here's another big question. Can God be killed? And if so, how is this crime committed? Can God be shot or stabbed or strangled? Or is God like Superman and can't be killed by earthly measures? It takes a special weapon to kill God. What is God's kryptonite? Is God just missing? Has he wandered away from heaven? Is God amongst us incognito? Is God on vacation? Maybe God's vacations last thousands of years. Maybe God retired. Maybe God is scouting new galaxies to fuck up. 
Or maybe that's what God wants us to believe, that God is sort of like your confused old grandparent. But in truth, God runs a vast cosmic empire beyond our comprehension, the cosmic corporation. What are God's darkest secrets? What is God hiding? Secret writings, apocryphal gospels, religions and gods that disappeared, hidden codes in the text a la the Kabbalah, or the Da Vinci Code, strange omissions, additions and redactions, other secretive cults, Vatican councils, is this what led to God's demise? I've been led in circles and through labyrinth mazes, but I'm still no closer to solving the mystery. Can I solve a crime I can't fully understand? Or has there been a crime? Is it just man's fate in a godless world to believe some crazy shit and then kill each other? Or is this all just a big scam? Has humanity been played for patsies? Does God even exist? If you can't prove he ever existed, you can't prove he's dead. That's the perfect crime. I begin to question my quest. Did man create God only to kill him? What if no one killed God? What if God is not dead? What if God is behind the vast conspiracy in an elaborate, baroque, brilliant, godlike way to conceal himself? What if God killed God? Well, that doesn't leave me with very much, except my unquenchable thirst for the truth. I am empty-handed, but undaunted. Ultimately, why is it so important to solve this mystery? Because the world is so fucked up and out of control and spiraling worse and worse, it's more important than ever for us to know if we are on our own or not. Man has decisions to make. Who and what is mankind and civilization and a future without God? It's time we figured that out. So though I didn't solve the mystery or answer the question, that doesn't mean there isn't a solution or an answer. And I will continue to pursue the answer no matter what the obstacle, whether God is dead or God has been killed or God is missing or never existed. One thing we know, one thing we must face, God is gone. Who killed God? It may be the hardest metaphysical question to answer. Then again, it might be the simplest. What is the one common denominator in all the suffering and cruelty and violence that has taken place at least over the history of recorded time, if not before? And what is the one common factor that unites every element of this crime? The motive, the evidence, the witnesses, the suspects. Who killed God? Us, people, we did, I did, you did. We all did. We killed God. And as long as humans are cruel and unfair and violent and greedy to all life on this planet and beyond, and other humans don't stop it, we continue to kill God every day and ourselves. We all know in the beginning, but no one knows what's in the end. Is God the alpha and the omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, or are we?